All right, we got the infamous monkey versus hunter problem. So just a reminder of the setup for this problem. We have a monkey hanging from a tree. We have a hunter who's taking straight aim at the monkey. Okay, the monkey's going to let go at the same exact time that the hunter shoots. And then conceptually, we know that the ball, the, the, the bullet and the monkey fall at the same rate. And therefore, even though the monkey lets go, the monkey's gonna get hit. So we've talked about this problem conceptually. I'm sure you've seen demos of this, but now we're gonna go ahead and prove mathematically why the monkey gets hit. So the first part of this problem though is we just wanna figure out the angle that the hunter aims at. So this is just a simple trig problem. So go ahead and let's go ahead and do it. So the, the uh, monkey's 20 meters high and the hunter is 10 meters away. Right? So it's a nice simple triangle, right? Here's 20, 10, oops, not to scale. 20, 10, let's find theta. So we'll use our tangent function, tangent equals 20 over 10. And you get an angle of 63.4 degrees. Okay, all right, so let's get to the, the meat of the problem now. All right, so let's go through kind of the theory of what we're gonna be doing now. Um, we're essentially gonna be trying to figure out uh, where is the bullet? Where is the bullet when it reaches the monkey, okay? If we can find that distance of where the bullet is when it reaches the monkey, that's one. And then the next thing we're gonna do is find out, well, where is the monkey when the bullet reaches it? And those two heights should be one and the same. And that will essentially prove that the monkey gets hit. So the first thing we're gonna do, let's go ahead and fix that velocity initial. So I'll go over and do this on the side here. So this is 14.9. So let's find the two components of velocity. This was 63.4 degrees. So we're gonna go 14.9 cosine of 63.4. This side, we're going to go 14.9 sine of 63.4. All right, for the first one, the cosine, I get 6.67 meters per second. For the sine, I'm going to get 13.3 meters per second. So again, what that's telling me is the initial velocity in the x direction, 6.67. The initial velocity in the y direction is 13.3. All right, let's finish up everything else we know. So we know the acceleration in the x direction. There is no acceleration once the bullet's in the air, horizontally that is. Now vertically, there definitely is, right? The acceleration in that direction is gonna be negative 9.8 as it goes up and then falls back down. Then the last thing that we know is the displacement in the x direction. So the monkey is 10 meters away. Now we do not know the displacement in the y direction, but that's what we're gonna to try to find. So as usual, time is kind of the component that's the same on both sides. So let's go ahead and find the time on the x side, and then we'll know the time on the y side. So on the x side, we'll use this, d equals vot, one half at squared. So 10 meters, equals 6.67 times time. And then this goes to zero because there is no horizontal acceleration. That gets me a time of 1.50 seconds. All right, so let's go ahead and now find the, um, the height. So where's the bullet? How high is the bullet at that point? So we'll just use that time We'll use the same equation, but we will now find the vertical displacement. All right, so delta D 
the initial is um, 13.3. So remember, we're using our y values here. We'll use that time that we just calculated, plus 1 half, negative 9.8. Then we'll go ahead and go 1.5. Don't forget to square that out. So that gets me a height delta d of, I guess that's 9 meters. Yep, 9 meters. So if we look back on our graph, that means the bullet is 9 meters above the ground when it reaches kind of the plane of the monkey here. The last thing we're going to then do is find out how far does Curious George or the monkey fall. So the time is the same, right? So we know, let's go ahead and do the givens for um, CG. So they, CG has an initial velocity of zero, and they're going to fall with an acceleration of negative 9.8, right? So the monkey's right there. They're going to fall down, and we're going to see how far does Curious fall in 1.5 seconds. All right, so we'll use the same thing, d equals vot, one-half at squared. Now his initial velocity is zero, and we're going to go negative 9.8 and then 1.5 squared. So he falls 11 meters, right? That means this distance is 11 meters. That's how far he falls. So notice, since the total is 20 meters, Curious George is now going to be, at this point, 9 meters above the ground. So the bullet's 9 meters above the ground, Curious is 9 meters above the ground, and boom, he gets hit. All right, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you'd like me to make more videos like this, please let me know. Otherwise, have a wonderful day.